Hi, it's me, Vamp, and welcome back or welcome to the channel. Now, I may be a day late and a dollar short on this, but we're going to cover this week at Bungie because they have some interesting changes. They have some buffs they're doing, which we will talk about, but first, let's talk about Iron Banner's Rift is making waves. Okay, now I'll be honest, I have some feeling about feelings about this because the other day I legit tried to make a video for you guys of me being in the rift. It did, I mean, in Iron Banner, it did not work as well. I got spawn killed constantly. I um, black screened a few times, you know, when they reset the thing. It was not a fun experience. It definitely was not basically it looks like that they are um you know changing some details they're making it so um well we already know wearing iron banner gear or ornaments gives you more you know reputation and stuff um emblem <clears throat> they are investigating the use of um, emblems other than the Iron Banner emblem for, um, additional multipliers. So it looks like they technically are keeping an eye out of all the, for all the feedback. It doesn't look like they're going to be doing much right now, but this is the juicy bit, okay? And I'll leave a link in the description below to this in case you do care about all the iron um, banner changes or rather all of the rift changes and whatnot. But this is what I care about quite a bit, okay? They will be released in the next hotfix, okay? So definitely stay tuned to that, okay? So, it's saying... Ember of Benevolence had shipped in an inconsistent state that left healers feeling underwhelmed in their kit when it didn't behave as expected. Warlocks who specialized in healings had limited way to interface with that fantasy with two of their three aspects focused on aerial mobility and scorching and losing the flexibility to choose their grenade heal allies or damage enemies on the fly. Titans, while bombastic and potent, lacked way to keep their engine running without needing to run through hammers or burning multiple cooldowns. Let's see, so basically, Warlocks and Titans are getting a buff, and here are their buffs. Okay, so Heat Rises is getting an added behavior. Consuming your grenade now also releases a burst of cure around you, healing you and your nearby allies. Consuming a healing grenade increases the strength of um, the burst to cure, um, time three, and consuming a touch of flame healing grenade provide, uh, provides restoration as an additional benefit. Now, I'm hoping that means that any of my grenades can do this, because if I'm being honest, I don't use healing grenade. I like to using healing grenade whenever I used it right, but most of the time, if I'm being honest, I threw it at my enemies because I'm so used to grenade doing actual damage. So we'll see what happened to that. It's a benefit for warlocks. I'm a warlock main, so that's going to be pretty cool, I think. Then we have Icarus Dash. It got an added behavior as well. While airborne, rapidly defeating targets with your super or any weapon cures you. Okay, okay, so that's pretty cool. As long as I'm 
jumping if I defeat an enemy with my super or any weapon. So weapons, like I could jump, defeat a whole group of enemies with my rocket launcher and get healed. That's pretty, that's pretty up there. That's pretty awesome, right? And then we have celestial fire. Each celestial fire projectile now applies um, 10 scorch stacks. This is increased to 15 stacks with ember of ashes equipped. Okay, let's see. What is celestial fire? Is it that snack thing? Because if it is, that's brilliant. I don't know the name of that snap thing, but if it is called Celestial Fire, and that is, I am super hyped for that. This is a good day to be a warlock, okay? This is a good time to be a warlock. What well, time to be alive. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Okay, so we have Solar Titan, Burning Mal, um, Maul, whatever buffed damage in PvE by 25%. Okay, that's, that's cool. That's a good start. Any buff is a good buff, usually. Um, let's see. Roaring Flames. Added behavior. While Roaring, roaring Flames... Roaring Flames... <laughs> roaring Flames is active, your uncharged melee attack now deals solar damage and apply 30 scorch stacks to target per hit. Your uncharged melee attack? So while Roaring Flames is active, you can just keep meleeing people like a melee apocalypse. That's pretty cool. I feel like I'm just like a hype man for Titans now, so <laughs> it really is, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty cool. This is increased to 40 stacks with Ember of Ashes equipped. Okay, what is this Ember of Ashes? It's a fragment, right? It seems so awesome. I want that fragment. I need that fragment. Do I have that fragment? The world may never know. Moving on. Um, Consecration. I think that's how you say that. Okay. Fragment slots increased from one to two. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Raised the height of the secondary attacks ground wave by 25% to more easily catch players who jump too late. That sounds like me. I, I, I'm not very good at jumping at the video games. That include Destiny 2. So, yeah. Um, that no small list of changes. That actually, that, okay. It's very good to hear, okay? It's very good to hear that they are actually listening to feedback. I do enjoy that. That is a very good thing to hear. Okay. And then now, now let's see what else we, oh yeah, here. On that note, what next for abilities? Well, Arc 3.0 is still cooking up nicely. And they'll have more to talk about in the future update. If I'm being honest i'm pretty sure that um you know it's coming next season i could be wrong about that but if we look at the seasons with season of the risen we got um a void 3.0 with season of the whatever this is haunted we have a solar 3.0 and then arc 3.0 with season of the Super Mega Ultra Fun Time with Friends. Work in progress on the name, I know. But yeah, okay, so let's see. But just to reiterate points the team have made about the next subclass update. After Arc 3.0, you should expect the ability team to go dark for a little while. Since shipping stasis with Beyond Light, the team had made 
huge ability changes season over season. Okay, so basically they're gonna need a break after the um whole you know all after they rework all three, then I need a break because they put a lot of work into not only a new subclass Sages, but also reworking the three to live up to the expectation, then it will be up, up to us guardians to decide what we want to go as for the most part. Um, so yeah, that is the TWAB and that's all I got for you guys. With that said, let me know what you guys think about the... I know we didn't go over the rift too much, but what do you guys think of Iron Banner? And also, are you either a Titan and a, or a Warlock? And if you are, do you enjoy the changes? Do you think it's going to be awesome? I think the Warlock changes are going to be awesome. Titan changes, they look good, but I'll be honest, I'm not really much of a Titan. I do have a Titan, so I'll be checking out the changes. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, you know, you know. But yeah, love to know your thoughts. Comment section below. With that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.